One of the first things when a patient comes in or a family member, they look at the facility. They look to see what it looks like. If you got a lot of burned out light bulbs, they look and say, man, they can't even afford to replace the light bulbs. I mean, the appearance, you know, the, you've heard curb appeal. When you walk in here, it's what you see when you see inside. That is the curb appeal and it has to look nice. The facility department serves in many different aspects. We support over 250,000 square feet. Our in-house maintenance service provides services not only to the, the patient care areas, uh, we also provide support for the satellite offices. And it's important for us to be a uh, quick response we put primarily the, the focus on patient care as our priority all the time. A typical day for me at Community Hospice starts out usually with me doing the mail. Um, I print signs for the conference rooms. And then once I'm done with that, we move on to uh, whatever else might be in store for the day. We do pretty much whatever anybody asks us to do. <laughs> So recently we uh, renovated the Earl B. Hadlow Center for Caring and um, I was involved, or we were involved, in basically doing most of the painting, um, removal of wallpaper, and uh, just finishing up. Most of the growth I think I've experienced at Community Hospice has been through um, learning things that I did not know beforehand. Um, as far as uh, taking care of a building and, and those kind of things. There's a sense of pride for what we accomplished um, with just a few men that we had to do it with. Before I started working here, I worked for myself. And I know a lot of times people would call me and I couldn't get to them for a week, two weeks, three weeks. And in, the, in our situation with community hospice, we can't wait one week, two weeks, three weeks for something. We need stuff done right away and by doing it ourselves, we get that. A typical day for us or me would be start time, 6.30. Um, we get things laid out from manager Joe um, and we go from there. Um, it could be different things, uh, different activities. It could be painting, pressure washing, um, hanging pictures, moving furniture, etc. When I first started, we was working in Gainesville, and we moved the, um, the, the one office to another when they, they increased in size and, and volume. And also, we had moved Dunn's Avenue, a brand new branch that they recently purchased, and then we um, opened that and just moved the furniture and set every little things up like doorbells and you know all whatnots and everything like that. Yeah I, I really enjoy working here because the people are so nice. Yeah, everywhere I've worked I mean there have been background checks with people before but these people are they seem to have a, a vision you know a focus with their work you know they're really considerate and they're really kind to everyone and uh, it's just a pleasant atmosphere. You know, everyone's on the same page here, you know. I feel I'm very blessed to be able to work with community hospice and palliative care, mostly because of the people that provide the service, the support for the entire organization. We have a, a great group of people that have stuck stuck with it through through various, for many years, providing great, great patient care. Thank you.